Hello and welcome back to Potomitter where today we are going to be tackling what is in my books the tastiest damn smash burger of all time. We're going to start by shaving our onion on a mandolin or slicer or whatever you want to call it. Call it a mandolin though because that's what it is. What we're looking for are super fine translucent ribbons of onion and you'll see why in a second. Now onto our beef. I'm using a handmade 80% lean beef mince here which is the best blend of fat to lean for burgers. You can ask your local butcher just to grind you a batch. So you want to weigh out 2 ounces or 62 grams, careful not to overhandle the beef, so shape it by throwing it between your hands and try to keep it as cool as possible. We're going to use 2 patties per burger. Then to cook them, get your cast iron pan super hot and go in with a bit of vegetable oil just until you see it start to smoke. Then when you put your ball in, you want to hear this. So go grab something flat and heat resistant and something to push down with and do what it says on the tin. Smash. Be sure to season it with some salt and pepper and keep them pressed down because if you don't as you can see the patty will want to buckle in on itself and you won't get that even crust so scrape it off the bottom of the pan and flip it over what you're looking for is a beautiful brown crust keep pressing it down and here i'm laying a slice of monterey jack cheese and cover it so the steam melts the cheese to be honest you can even use the chitty cheese singles it'll still bang on these burgers now these burgers they don't have to be round or anything the main goal is to get the patties as thin as you can and cooked as fast as possible so the Maillard reaction happens quickly and it retains its juiciness. So sprinkle a healthy amount of shaved onion hold it down for about a minute and a half per side. The onions are sliced so thin that they cook off the residual heat from the burger itself so it infuses the burger with all of that amazing flavour. Obviously season it down with some salt and pepper as well flip it over with the onion side down and that's it. I'm going to go with a classic brioche bun in the spirit of everything gourmet and toasting them in the fat that rendered off those burgers. Please, please go the extra mile and toast the buns. If not, just don't bother with this recipe. What you want to do is assemble the burger as quickly as possible, then wrap the whole thing in foil and let it rest for a few minutes. The method to this madness is so that the steam from the burger softens up the bun so you don't get mouthfuls of dry bread and the whole experience of biting into one of these things is actually nothing short of pure bliss. Now I like to go super simple, no salad, just pickles, of course pickles. Now this recipe is actually an Oklahoma kept secret and by god I'm glad I found it. Please you have to try this recipe. If you like what I do please like, comment, subscribe and visit my Patreon page as well. Share this video around, happy cooking.